Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Showcase video here on the channel. Today, we are going over the Biomes of Plenty mod. Once again, it has recently updated to Minecraft 1.20.2 as of today. So I figured I'd review the mod again and see if there's anything new, and we'll go from there. If you guys have been enjoying the Mod Showcase on the channel, leave a like, and start subscribing if you're new, and the down for as well will be in the description down below. Let's get things started. So the first thing you will need to install Bison Plenty is a second mod called the Terra Blender mod, I believe. It'll tell you if you try to launch Minecraft with just Bison Plenty, like, hey, you need this mod too. So make sure you get that mod as well before you launch. And what that mod essentially does is makes generation a lot smoother in modern day versions of Minecraft. It makes things a lot simpler and things load a lot quicker. So for those who may have never heard of the Biomes of Plenty mod, essentially is a mod that adds in a bunch of new biomes into your world. You'll notice where I'm standing right now, even just doing a nice 360, there is a bunch of biomes surrounding me. So how I typically like to review Biomes of Plenty is I sort of just fly around the world and we just take note of all the different biomes considering there's so many of them i typically don't go over the blocks but if you guys do want to see different block options i'll quickly just show you really quickly scrolling through here is all the different items and blocks that you can acquire and i should mention these biomes also span to the other dimensions the end and nether both have new biomes as well as the fact that underground has new biomes so just give you all a heads up that's how things are as of right now and let's just start flying around checking out the new biomes starting with this extremely weird grass biome called the grassland biome so really cool biome there is i believe this is called shrublands because i've seen this one before actually it's called the rocky shrublands so they probably have changed that one's name slightly or there's just two now yes everything in your world can generate as it normally would such as villages etc and normal vanilla biomes do spawn as well however they of course will not look as beautiful as some of these biomes because a lot of work and dedication has been put into this mod this is one of the og mods that's been around forever now and i gotta say it just looks amazing unfortunately like i said i'm not sure if they did add anything new to 1.20.2 compared to 1.20.1's version of the mod but biomes are playing updates so much like for example in the past 24 hours they've updated their mod like 10 or 12 times for 1.20.2 alone so i didn't really want to sit through all the different version files just to try to see if there is anything new added because like i said whenever they update biomes of plenty they change they don't i won't say they change a lot of things but they change the code around a lot so just to give you guys a heads up but one biome i'm noticing that does look a little bit new is this one right here i don't think i've ever recognized or seen this one before this is known as the lavender forest i know there's lavender fields but lavender forest definitely looking like a new biome option right now so i'm just going to take a cheeky screenshot and we'll probably have that in the thumbnail but yeah, that, what's great about this mod is I always like saying that uh, although Minecraft does have a bunch of biomes now in this day and age, I always love the Biomes of Plenty mod addition on top of regular Minecraft because just you're never going to find one of two biomes near each other. You're always going to be able to locate new things and find new biomes. And I should mention the locate biome command does work with Biomes of Plenty. So if there's a specific biome that you already know is in Biomes of Plenty that you are trying to locate, you will in fact be able to do that. Do not worry whatsoever. And as you can see right now, we are coming into regular vanilla biomes. So I'm going to speed up my person a little bit just so we can get out of these biomes that we have seen before. And it, like I said, it, if you're used to Minecraft, you're going to be able to spot modded versus not modded biomes. And of course, in a modern day Minecraft, there's just so many biomes already that it just gives us a lot of options. We even got the... Uh, the nice cave generation right there and like i did say underground there is different biomes as well for biomes of plenty i would show them off but i don't want to spend too much time going up and down so i'll let you guys experience them on your own and like i said i don't plan on showing you guys every biome i just plan on showing you a few just so you guys can get an idea of things and like i said you don't have to select any specific generation type for your world as long as you have the mods installed when you load up a new world it should have the biomes of plenty mods as well and unfortunately right now we're taking the the oh here's a new one right over here i was about to say we're, we're not running into anything new so we are going to hit some new biomes right here past the jungle we have what's known as the rocky rainforest very cool name and interesting that we're sticking with this rocky title i don't remember any of the biomes in biomes of plenty having this rocky title but then again it's been a while since i reviewed the mod i could just be wrong is this called anything differently no this is the rocky rainforest even though it's like clearly terracotta 
So if you're a person that needs terracotta, this is a good biome to come into. So you'll be able to, of course, build what you need to out of that. This is just the rainforest. Okay, so now we have moved into rainforest territory. And there's also something on this hill over here I want to check out. And like I said, I won't do this video for too much longer, but I do want to, like I said, find some very cool biomes. Like this is the volcanic biome, right? Yeah, the volcano biome. Really cool. And for people that like playing mods like maybe Pixelmon, and this mod does work in conjunction with Pixelmon, just a heads up. And other mod packs as well. Like you can install a bunch of other mods and everything will still work. The one thing I will let you know that might not work mod pack style is if you guys are trying to look for a certain type of generation. Like let's say there's a certain structure that generates in a mod. That might not be programmed to work with biomes of plenty. So you might not be able to find said structure in any of the biomes of plenty biomes if that makes sense. Whereas it will still be in the world. You might just have to go into a vanilla biome in order to find. So just a heads up with that if you're trying to install this very cool biome mod that there is one drawback that if the mod isn't compatible with uh, structure generation of another mod, you won't be able to find any of the modded structures in the modded, van not vanilla, but the modded uh, biomes of biomes of plenty. This biome is a pretty cool one. It is the lush savanna. It is literally littered with roses. The over there was the lush desert. I couldn't really say, but I showed it on screen of the title because I was talking. And as you can see, the village did spawn here. This is still registered as a desert, even though it is not technically a vanilla desert. As you can see, lush savanna. Actually, that's interesting. It says lush savanna, but it's got the desert village variant spawning. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> it doesn't make too much sense but it does happen that way i suppose is this the oasis biome one of my favorite biomes in this mod is the oasis biome and it's pretty hard to track because it can be very small but it's as you would expect it'll literally be like a small oasis in the desert biomes and it'll be called the oasis biome so that's a thing and it looks like this is just a regular desert we are coming into and like I said, the biomes blend together super well, probably due to the biome blender mod, but it's really nice that we got like the blend of the vanilla biomes with the modded biomes and everything just kind of works out. I mean, I'm going to head over here to see what this structure is over here. I think I see a structure at least. And then we can call it a video or showcase, I guess. And like I said, we got a lot of new wood type variants for people that like building. If you like exploring, this mod is for you. It covers all aspects of Minecraft, which I think is really well done. Of course, it, it sticks to the typical, we're going to only focus on generation. There's not really any new mobs, I don't believe. But it, it's really nice to have more things to see that you're not used to seeing. So we got the dry land right here, which literally has the bone structure spawning in it, which is really creepy and cool at the same time. And we're coming up to a, I believe this is a, I want to say Mesa biome, but it's called Badlands biome now, right? I'm pretty sure that is the case but either way though guys that is going to do let me just confirm my theory really quickly is this called eroda badlands yeah that's what i thought but guys that is going to do it for this mod showcase like i said a bunch of biomes it's really really cool mod if you guys want to download for yourself it'll be linked down below in the description and remember you got to have the terra blender mod installed as well i believe in order for this mod to function properly and let me know with a like rating on the video Click the like button. Give me a comment on which biome is your favorite in Biomes of Plenty if you played with the mod before. And feel free to check out some other mod showcases I've done in the top right hand corner if you would like. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.